OK, so let's say I want to find the general solution to each of these differential equations. And we're going to use that method of separation of variables. So let's have a look at number one. So we've got dy by dx equals x squared y. OK, so what I can do is I can divide both sides by y, leave the dy where it is, and multiply both sides by the dx. So I arrive at 1 over y dy equals x squared dx. You then integrate both sides. So 1 over y dy integrates to log y. And x squared integrates to 1 third x cubed. And then put the plus c, constant integration, on the right hand side. Then you can e both sides leaving with y equals e to the 1 third x cubed plus c. Now, if you remember from the previous video, I want to simplify that down to make it look a little bit neater. So this is the same thing as e to the 1 third x cubed times e to the c. And e to the c is just another constant, so I can replace that with another constant value. Let's call it a. So it's 1 third uh, e, a times e to the 1 third x cubed and that is my general solution okay well the general solution you could say is there okay but this is another format of the general solution and is easier to work with okay so let's have a look at number two uh, dy by dx equals x y squared so I could divide both sides by the y squared leave the dy where it is and multiply both sides by the dx. And then I want to integrate both sides. Now, 1 over y squared we know is y to the minus 2, right? OK. So y to the minus 2 will integrate to adding 1 to the power, dividing by the new power, minus y to the minus 1. The x integrates to a half x squared plus c. Now, what I can now do is I could multiply through by minus 1, OK, to get rid of that minus there. So I'm going to get y to the minus 1 is equal to minus 1 half x squared. And then I'm going to get a minus c. I don't want to have a minus c, so I could just replace that with another constant value, OK, just to keep it nice in having these plus... Uh, uh, additions rather than subtractions. Now, y to the minus 1 is just 1 over y. I'm going to rearrange that, reorder it rather, so that I look, I've got it that way around. It's neater, it looks nice, it's easier to work with. And then I could multiply both sides by y, divide both sides by the a minus a half x squared, or reciprocal both sides if you like to think of it that way. So it's y equals 1 over a minus a half x squared. OK, so although that's my general solution, that's an easier one to work with uh, as a solution. OK. OK, so number three, dy by dx equals e to the y sine x. So I could divide both sides by the e to the y. Leave the dy where it is. Multiply both sides by the dx. And then integrate both sides. Now this is e to the minus y. OK, so I'll rewrite that. So in integrating, I'm going to get minus e to the minus y is equal to, well, sine x integrates to minus cosine of x. And I've got my plus c constant of integration. So if I multiply through by minus 1, I'm going to get e to the minus y is equal to cosine of x plus another constant a, OK, rather than having a minus c. Now, um, at this stage, uh, I can keep going to get y equals. Um, I can log both sides. And then I can multiply through by minus 1. 
Okay, so that would be my uh, simplified solution. Um, remember, I mean, you might be wondering, well, do I have to make sure I get y equals every time? And the answer is no. I mean, in some cases, uh, you won't be able to rearrange it to get y equals. And also, I'd really only go about it if the exam question was really asking me to get it into a particular format. Am I really going to have to think about manipulating it? OK, so it's just really good practice to try and do it if you can, just so you can get into the habit. Now, number four is a little bit different. Um, or it looks different because we've got that 2y on the left-hand side. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the 2y from both sides. That's really what we need to do to start off with. I'm going to write the root x, actually, as x to the half. So I'm going to get minus 2y. Now, as it stands, it might not be immediately obvious as to what I need to do next. However, if I factorise the right-hand side, it makes it a little bit clearer. So now I can divide both sides by the y, oh, dy, multiply both sides by the dx, and then integrate both sides. So I'm going to get log y is equal to, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, so 2 thirds x to the 3 halves minus 2x plus c, constant of integration. So y will be equal to e to the 2 thirds x to the 3 halves minus 2x plus c. Now that's e to the 2 thirds x to the 3 halves take away 2x times e to the c. The e to the c can just be represented as a. There we are. OK. And so that is a simplified version of the general solution for number four.